Good afternoon, students. You've been invited here today to witness the tenth and final yeah. event. Um, so the question for those in, uh, was, was uh, following up, why didn't we get the same, uh, I'll paraphrase, same uh, deal as Quebec? We certainly wanted the same flexibility as Quebec. Of course, Quebec has had their own program for many years, but they got, I understand, complete flexibility in their agreement uh, with the federal government, which we would have preferred. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, this is the best deal that we could get, and the option was leaving nearly $4 billion uh, tax dollars on the table. We believe that money belongs to Alberta taxpayers. They paid into uh, the, uh, their, their federal taxes. We want to see that those dollars come back to support Alberta families. Uh, I want to commend Minister Schultz for having uh, driven a very hard bargain to get maximum flexibility uh, to, to reflect the unique characteristics of childcare in Alberta. But at the end of the day, it's not the only time where we see what appears to be a, a, a two-tier federation. Uh, and uh, the, I think the basic aspiration of Albertans is to be treated equally, to have the same uh, powers uh, that Quebec fun exercises and the same treatment w from the federal government, which includes uh, unconditional funding uh, uh, when there are uh, national policy goals. Nip High Football Rules! Mr. Madison, allow me to um, respond directly to that, um, and I don't want to get into a discussion around constitution or division of powers. What you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. But I will say that it is not a question of flexibility that we gave to Quebec on child care versus flexibility we wouldn't give to Ontario. The goal of these child care agreements, as stated in our budget of last year, of earlier this year, was $10 a day child care within five years and cutting fees in half over the next year. Quebec already has $10 a day child care right across the country. Indeed, it's at $8.50. So it made no sense for us to impose conditions that they have already surpassed. So it's not about treating one province differently. If Alberta already had child care at $8 a day across the province, we would have had an approach similar to Quebec. So let's not create constitutional conventions out of this. Uh, it's about looking at what families had, what families need, and how we get to $10 a day childcare right across the country, and that's exactly what we did. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Okay, a simple wrong would have done just fine, but... Uh... 